Hi everyone, my name is Amy Warner and I was recently diagnosed with Cushing syndrome after years of not knowing what's going on. I know there are so many people out there that struggle with this. They know something's wrong. They know that they don't feel good and that it's not normal what they're feeling, but they can't figure out what it is. So the biggest thing I would say is being organized. This little thing saved me. Um, you can kind of see I have everything, every blood work, and I have everything labeled. I don't know, it's kind of bright, I just realized, but I have everything labeled. Um, and I have everything that I've gotten in the last few years, every test, every blood work, every appointment. Um, so I've kept it all together. And how that helped is that I, when I finally went to Boston, he literally combed through this page by page by page by page. Spent two hours with me and it was in this um, process that he said, oh, well, here's another positive test. Here's another positive test. Oh, this is an indication of this as well. So I literally felt like he was a detective and using my book as a his like map of figuring out what's going on with me. So I was so thankful because this is the thing. At each appointment, you go through so much you think you're going to remember, but you don't, or at least I didn't. I didn't remember, oh, I know I had a CAT scan, but I don't remember when. I know that I had a positive test for that, but I don't remember when. You just don't because you're doing so much testing. So this is the biggest thing. So staying organized, keeping it all together, and bringing it to every single appointment because you never know who's going to be the person to help you. The other piece I would say is if they're offering you a test, just do it. I know it's frustrating. I know it gets old. I know the appointments get old. But if they're offering for you to go to a specialist, go. Um, you know, if you know that something's wrong and that you don't feel right, do everything you can to try to feel better. You know, eat well and exercise and go do energy work. And, um, you know, I do. I could, if I listed all the stuff I've done over the past several years to try to feel better, um, it would be very lengthy. Um, so still keep trying to do things that will help you and make you feel better and, and keep track of it. What does make you feel better? What doesn't? Um, so try everything. Take the appointments you can. But the biggest thing is organize it and keep it all together because these doctors, they want to help you and they want to make you feel better. At least that was my experience. Um, everybody was in my corner and everybody wanted to um, help and make me feel better. I know that's not everyone's experience, but I was really lucky in that. And I'm so grateful for that. Um, so yeah, that is my biggest advice. This. <laughs> All right. Thank you.